If you have a loved one in jail in Alabama, you're probably wondering, what do you need to do to get them out? My name is Andy Siegel. I'm a lawyer here in Huntsville, Alabama. There are essentially four ways of getting a person who is in jail out of jail. Let's talk about them. The first is what's called bond. And bond simply is a judge, the judicial equivalent of a judge saying, oh, you're promising that so-and-so is going to show up for court? That's fine. Put your money where your mouth is. You want to tell me that Johnny's not going to run? Fine. Is it worth whatever, a thousand dollars? You promise a thousand dollars if Johnny comes up to court, you're not going to lose your money. But if he doesn't come, we're taking a thousand dollars. Thank you for playing. Now from that have evolved some other things, but the simplest is basically that cash bond. And that is, you put up the money, person shows, you're good. They don't show, you're out the money. That's a cash bond. The second way of getting a person out of jail is by someone putting up property. Uh, the property is based on the value of the property. They look at the property tax and it's based on that. But essentially it's the same thing. The judge is saying, huh, you're going to promise your house or you're going to promise your land that so-and-so is going to show up for court? Great. We'll trust you on your word if you put money behind it. If the person doesn't show, the person could lose their house. Sometimes you have, you know, grandparents and things like that. And unfortunately, they get done dirty. A, a relative or somebody that they promise skips. This happens sometimes with boyfriends, girlfriends. Some lady has uh, dating some guy that she thought she trusted and bam, he's gone. She's out of her property. But, but that's one of the two ways. So first two, cash, property. The third way, and probably the most common way, is going through a bonding company. And essentially what happens with a bonding company is they say, hey, we will act as a surety. We're going to give the court assurances that old Johnny is going to show up, and we will stand in your shoes and make that promise. If he doesn't show up, we're out the money. Now, they're going to turn around to you and they're going to collect it from you, but most people, or very frequently, people might not have the amount of money for bond. The higher the amount of bond, the less likely it is somebody's going to have the cash to post it. So if they, and, and by the way, bonding companies usually charge about 10%. So let's say somebody's bond is $1,000. This relatives go, we don't have $1,000, we got $100. Bonding company looks at it and they think, mm, we're willing to take the bet on this guy. We think he's going to show up, pay us it. And so if that happens and the person shows up, bonding company, they'll keep that money. They've made that hundred dollars. The person doesn't, not only is the bonding company out the hundred bucks, but if they don't get that guy to court, the judge is going to say, hey, pay up the rest. And that's when you get Dog the Bounty Hunter or any of these other guys going out there to grab the guy and bring him back to court because, not surprisingly, the bonding company doesn't want to lose its money. Uh, the fourth type of release is what's called pretrial release. Here in Huntsville, it's done through the Office of Alternative Sentencing. If you want, at the conclusion of this video, if you'll send me an email, and the number is down here somewhere, I will send you the relevant numbers that you need for, I won't send you the numbers to the bonding companies, frankly, because that's illegal. There are some certain lawyers who uh, get in cahoots with bonding companies and steer lawyers that way or this or, or lawyers to bonding companies. They don't do that. But as far as numbers to the Sheriff's Department and things like that for bond, if you need those and you send me an email, I'll be happy to supply them. If bond is so high that the person who is in jail can't make it, then you can talk to a lawyer like me or some other lawyer and we can file various things with the court, most common of which is we ask a judge to reduce the bond. So I've got a guy right now, his, his bond, it's, it's on a murder case, his bond is $100,000. I'm gonna ask the judge to release, to uh, not to release it, but to lower his bond. If his bond goes down to $10,000, hopefully the fellow then can go to a bonding company, pay $1,000 and get out of jail. But these are the kinds of things lawyers do and how people uh, are helped by lawyers when they're stuck in jail. You don't want to be trapped in jail because it can take you a very long time for your case to go to court. So if it's possible to get out of, get out of jail prior to your trial date, you really want to do that. 
At any rate, I hope you found this video helpful and informative. Our uh, telephone number is down below. Give us a call if you want. And thank you for watching.